Man, got around. OG7 back here. Hey guys, and today, the topic of today's video is from a value subscriber who made a, um, a large donation on my PayPal, and he asked me to uh, watch this prison movie and to do a review on it, so uh, I'm going to give you my take on it. So, this movie is about a college professor who goes to prison for killing a drunk driver, and he learns busting cheeks changes lives man so um i want to get straight into the topic of today's video because i'm trying to make my video shorter because i really respect you guys and i value your time because you can be watching any anybody else's videos you chose to watch mine so i'm gonna I'm a deliver for what you came for so this movie starts off man there's this guy man and he uh he took his little kid to the park he's got actually got a little baby oh wait wait first of all i wanted to tell you spoiler alert and um I'm sharing this video with you guys because um, I like to watch these things called, uh, uh, I think it's called Movie Recaps. Yeah, it's called Movie Recaps. And they just talk about movies. They give you like the abridged version or the cliff notes and they tell you what the movie was about. Me, myself, guys, um, I'm just sharing this with you. I'm not a, a little kid. I'm a grown man. I like to know, uh, you know, I'm not saying I got control issues, but I like to know in advance what's kind of going to happen so I don't I don't get upset when people see a new movie like some people saw Ant-Man I mean Adam Black Adam and they told me about it and I don't get upset because I mean I want to hear about the movie and see if I want to watch it so spoiler alerts for you who uh who don't like to be told what a movie's about but I thought this was a fascinating movie so without further ado the movie starts off you got this college professor dude man and uh He's got a little baby, and he's, like, being a responsible dad, and he's taking his baby to the park. So he's putting his baby in the car, and then this car is swerving, this drunk driver dude swerving. So at this park, I guess it's, like, a park. When I was in Monterey, when I was in Monterey, California, it's, like, where you can take your kids. It's got swings and stuff, and and um, I don't know if it's called a merry-go-round, whatever. Just stuff for kids to play in sandboxes, and you can get your baby some sun, right? So he's putting his baby in the car. This drunk driver swerving down the street, speeding. And this lady, she's got a little baby too, man. And she's coming from the park <laughs> and getting ready to go in her car. And the drunk, you know how you, uh, you know how you, um, you go into, uh, you put your kid in the car, in the in the in the in the car, and then you go ahead and you get on the on the driver's side, which is facing the street. So she's going to get in her car, and this drunk driver smacks the mess out of her, man. And she goes flying through the air, bro. And then he, his car hits a, uh, hits a tree at the park. And so uh, it looks like the lady's dead. So, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is Alan Alda. He's all freaked out, man, because he saw the lady, you know, she could have had her kid killed. And he's got a little kid, too. So then he runs over to the drunk driver's car, man, and... And pulls him out of the car, man. And they get to struggling, bro. And then, uh, you know, he hits the guy. And the guy, you know how drunk people are, man. They're all, hey, man. And he hits the dude, man. And the dude hits his head on the pavement, bro. And he dies, right? And come to find out, the lady wakes up like she wasn't dead like he thought she was. So then they take him to court, bro. They charge him with involuntary manslaughter. They sent him to maximum security prison. He's just some college professor, white dude, just a regular dude, square dude, you know, living and leaving the Beaverville, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he goes to maximum security prison, and, dude, he's a first-timer, and he quickly gets to see how the prison is very corrupt. And I can say this to you guys, man, like, um, I can't sit here and say all prisons are corrupt. Because I haven't been to all prisons, but I can tell you the handful of prisons I have been to, whether it was back east or in California, they're all corrupt. So this white dude, he's a um, he's a um, he's a he's a he's a professor, he's a college professor. He's in political science, so he believes in righting wrongs in society. So he goes into the prison, and f right off the bat, the white dude, booty banded dudes, man. They just, they just on him, you know, like, oh, you need protection and this and that. And, you know, I can make your time easier and, or you can end up dead in here and all this stuff. 
So he's really struggling, man, and because he's he's a smart guy and he's he's figuring out. So then, one of the guys that was a first timer on the bus with was this really young kid. I think he's about eighteen, little pretty dude, right? So the booty bandit gang member, you know, gets in the in the dude's ear, you know, tells him I can get you whatever you want or whatever. And so the pro- the professor tells him the little kid says, "Hey, man, that's a bad idea." And the little kid's like, "Hey, man." You know, we all got to do what we got to do in here to survive. And so then uh, when the when the booty bandit gang member, the white dude, advances on the young kid, you know, he stands up for himself like, hey, man, I'm not gay. And then the, and then the booty bandit gang member, he's a, he's a lifer. He's like, man. So he, he tells the other white dudes, the big swole white dudes, to rip dudes' cheeks open, man. So they rip dudes' cheeks open violently. And then the dude, the little young dude, man, is so distraught, he jumps off the third tier, man, just commits suicide, bro. And so the professor is so distraught, man, he just he just frustrated. He reminds me of this movie, Boys in the Hood, when the cops was harassing this little, little young black dude, and he goes to his girlfriend's house, he just starts punching the air. You know, I'm so tired of this. So the white, the white dude, the, 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 the professor, he's just very frustrated, man, you know, punching the air and stuff. So then uh, he gets a job in the pharmacy, and, and, the, and the booty bandit gang member is like, hey, man, you're going to be bringing drugs out of there, you know what I mean? And so he didn't want to do it. So there was this black dude in there, Billy D. Williams, told him, like, hey, you disrupting things. So uh, long story short, man, uh, there was another white dude, and uh, he, was, he wrote this book about all the corruption in the prison, right? And he's, he hit it, he slid it over the aisle and all this. So they killed, let's call him the tall white dude. They killed the tall white dude. And then he went to Al and all that trying to get the book. So, you know, he's running all through the prison trying to escape and everything. And then they, they catch up with him, dude. And so then Billy D. Williams and his black gang is walking down the, the corridor of the prison. And they see what's happened. So the white dude, because he works with Billy D. Williams in the pharmacy. They're both pharmacists. So he runs over to Billy D. Williams, and Billy D. Williams gives him this. Uh, I've never seen one of these things, but it's like a prison pipe gun. So he gives it to um, Alan Alda. Alan Alda shoots the booty band, the gang member. And then as he's running down the corridor, the guards shoot him dead, and they find the book. This one, oh, there was a new guard, too, that started the same day as Alan Alda started his sentence. So the uh, the new guard, man, finds the book. He tells the warden, and the warden said, there is no such book. You know, we got to do what we got to do in here with these animals and all this stuff. So the new white dude, it's kind of like training day. He was just like, nah, man, I'm going to do what's right. So the movie ends with uh, the new white dude, uh, prison guard, resigning, leaving, because he's going to blow the whistle on everything. Out and all this dad. And the little white dude has got his cheek busted. Um, is dead as well. And uh, strangely enough, the the booty bandit gang member is still alive. But anyway, the name of the movie is Glass House, and and it's an older movie from like 1972. But I want I want to share something with you guys. You guys that are movie of, of fiction and autos, and I know I recommend on my Patreon that you guys watch a lot of movies to. Uh, figure out your archetype to see what kind of a man you want to be and you can model the guys in the movie. But one thing I know for sure, another another value subscriber man made a, a, a nice donation on my PayPal. He asked me to watch the original Carlito's Way. And the reason I'm bringing this up, guys, um, whatever your favorite movies are, I would suggest that you do a Google search and see if there was a predecessor because I think what's important, and I'm trying to help you younger guys understand this, and most of you guys are younger guys to me, but, you know, with your with our modern technology, you guys got all this cinematography and CGI and camera editing and all, you know, all the cool stuff. I got it. You guys are into flashy things. But I want to share something with you, man. The real knowledge comes in simplicity, meaning that if you have a favorite movie that you watch nowadays... And I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a good example that a lot of you young dudes can relate to. There was a there was a new movie called um, I Am Legend with Will Smith, and it was a blockbuster. This is before he slapped the piss out of Chris Rock. But if you look at what the original movie was, bro, the original movie, the original movie that they did the remake on it was it was called The Omega Man. 
And I'm sharing this with you because if you guys are really knowledge seekers, I think it's important now that I'm doing movies that you see the original older movies because I think the storyline is better. You know, the characterization is better. And you can follow, like, the whole, you can get the whole brooks of it as opposed to being bombarded with flashy things and cinematography and CGI. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, man. And, you know, I look forward to your comments, man, and your your feedback. And I hope you're having a wonderful day.